Hey friends, my name is Mitch Foran. Uh, I've been part of Malagash Bible Camp since 2010. Now I was on full-time staff in 2014. Uh, for me, it's a privilege to be sharing this short devotional with you guys. So we're gonna open up our Bibles to Romans chapter five, verses three to five, and I'm actually gonna read out of a translation called the Passion Translation. And it says this, even in times of trouble, we have a joyful confidence, knowing that our pressures will develop in us patient endurance and patient endurance will refine our character and proven character leads us back to hope. And this hope is not a disappointing fantasy because we can now experience the endless love of God cascading into our hearts through the Holy Spirit who lives in each one of us. That's Romans chapter five, verses three to five. And I love what it says. It says, hope is not a disappointing fantasy, but through hope we can experience the love of God cascading into our hearts through the Holy Spirit. And what I want to challenge you this morning, I don't know um, yeah, exactly what situation you find yourself in. I don't know what emotional state you find yourself in, but I just want to encourage you. I want to challenge you to decide to hope again, to decide to believe once more, to decide to open up your heart to God and say, God, I decide, Lord, to give you another opportunity. To give, you, to give you another moment, believing that you can jump in once again, believing that you can do something in my life, knowing that God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. We read these miraculous stories all throughout the Old and New Testament, and we hear about God doing wonderful and amazing things. Believe that He can do the same in your life. Yeah, there's moments in, in each one of our lives when our emotions try to get a hold of us, when they start to lead us astray, and we start to feel like we're being consumed by them. But I want to encourage you with a scripture from Romans chapter 10, verse 11. And it says this, For the scriptures encourage us with these words, and take these to heart, friends. Everyone who believes in Him will not be disappointed. Everyone who believes in Him will not be disappointed. God doesn't change. The same God that worked for Noah on His behalf is working on your behalf. The same God who worked on David's behalf is working on your behalf. The same God who worked on Paul's behalf is working on your behalf. Open up your heart and give yourself the opportunity to believe in Him again, that He can do it in your life. Take these words to heart. Go to a time of prayer with God and just decide, Lord, even though my emotions feel, even though I feel like I can't, I don't want to, Lord, I decide to hope and believe that what your word says is true, that you will do something in my life and just allow the love of God to cascade in your heart through the Holy Spirit. Friends, be encouraged this morning. God loves you, and He wants you to hope again.